Today we're on a Mazak machine and we're going to see how you can set a work offset in just three easy steps. This video applies to the Smooth X, the Smooth G and the Smooth AI. If you've got an older control, for example a Fusion or a Matrix, you can get similar functions on our GoPro smartphone app. That's available from all the major app stores. So Mike, why don't you show us uh, how you can set a work offset, perhaps the bore? Sure, yeah, no problems. So, this is our graphical interface. It's Windows-based, set and inspect. Um, now, this obviously works very well with the SmoothX control, also Windows-based control, so we can install directly to it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use single cycle, so that's our manual way of programming. When you come in here, you can select the hardware you want to program. In this case, we're choosing Spindle Probe. I would go into my measurement cycles, and you said the bore measurement, so we can hit on bore, and that gives us the cycle there. Yep, I can see just two inputs there, diameter and work offset. That's right, so those two we have to fill out. There are some optional ones as well we can do to tailor the actual cycle. Uh, in any case, if we click on these different ones, you'll see we get different ah. help images and yep. text. Takes you through it. That's yep. right, yeah. So just trying to make it easy for people with little or no probing experience. So yep, we'll come in here, we'll give it the diameter. Uh, we're going to set the G54, so that's already set. So I just need to press the send button. Great, that seems to have gone over to the NC, made it the active program. So That's right, yeah, so dead easy. So no messing around, we've got that done. We just need to run the actual program. Right, so do we uh, need to put in the start position or something? No, we don't need to do that. We're just going to hand wheel the probe into position for the feature. Great. So we don't have to set up any approximate work coordinate system values. We just need to wind it in and it's ready to go. And the probe gets turned on and everything as well? Yeah, that's, no all, that's all handled as part of the macro, so that's Great. all completely included. All we need to do is just hit cycle start. Right, we're taking our points then. Right, is that job done then? Yeah, that's job done. So that's now set the coordinate system. But in addition to that, if we come back into the app, so we set the coordinate system, but we also get the data fed back to the app. So we can actually see the results of that measurement as well. Ah, uh, great, that's really useful. So that's not just in macro variables. Now the operator can see it on the screen. Yeah, that's right. Great, okay, well that looks really simple. So there we've seen setting a work offset in just three easy steps. For more information, you can speak to your local Mazak offices or go to renishaw.com forward slash